In this math cast, we're going to show how to use the predefined functions y parenthesis and x parenthesis to separate out the x and y coordinates of a point. There's a simpler example given in x core, which will explain y core too. So if you are looking for grade 1 through 7, go to the x core math cast. So, here we start with two points, A and B. Let's draw the line between A and B. So line, click on A, click on B, and we get a line, little a. Okay, now what we're going to do is manually, using X parenthesis and Y parenthesis, find delta Y and delta X of the slope. Now again, X parenthesis and Y parenthesis are predefined functions, so they go. So to use them, we must be down here in the input field. So click here, and now we're going to define our number delta Y equal to, and this is where we're using the Y parentheses. The change in Y is equal to the Y coordinate of B minus the Y coordinate of A. So Y parenthesis, no space, big B, that little y is important, minus y, a. The a here and the b here are for these points, so they're case sensitive. But the most important thing is the little y here and the little y there. This is just a name of a number. You can name it anything you want. We're just naming it delta y because that's the standard. Now we hit enter. So it should be the change between 1.9 minus minus 0.7, which is 2.6. Now we're going to make a mistake again here. Delta X, let's say we forget and we put a big X here of A, of B first, minus X of A, and we should get our error, right? There's our error. So we go back and we change these to be little X's and hit enter. And now we see that the change between 0.8 and 3 is minus 2.3. This is a negative slope. So now we're going to say m is equal to delta y divided by delta x. So we have manually calculated the slope. So we're still down here. m equals delta y divided by delta x and we get minus 1.1. Now let's check this using the slope function, the slope tool actually in GeoGebra. The slope tool is in the angle toolbar. There it is down there at the bottom. So we click on slope, click anywhere on the line, and it says M1 is minus 1.1. So we have correctly filled in the points. And of course, A and B are free points. So if we put our move tool here, we can change these values to anything that we want. 